purpose of this video is to give you some ideas on how to use your boat anchor transmitter or whatever uh, with your uh, SDR receiver. And one of the tough problems to solve is how to mute your receiver when you're transmitting. And of course, you can always build some kind of a relay uh, thing that's triggered by the transmitter and then uh, put that in series with the speakers for your computer and try to disconnect those. And of course, when you're doing that, you have no load on your speakers and you probably should ground those through a resistor. So it gets uh, into a bit of a wiring complication situation. So what I've done here is I've found a software to use with my SDR Play called uh, SDR Console. And just look up SDR Console online and you'll find it, <clears throat> download it. And uh, this is probably the most intense uh, of the softwares to run uh, an SDR radio. It's 64-bit um, instead of 32. And I find that the, uh, the waterfall has more details. The, uh, the spectrum scope is more uh, smooth than some of the other ones. Uh, it does require a pretty good CPU. To do it now I'm running a, a Pentium 7 and um, you really should use a USB 3 port and I, that's something that I'll talk about in just a second but I'm not going to go into a whole lot of details on how to set this up I just want to point out uh, one thing this is what's called the home screen and uh, as you can see across the top here on this ribbon bar, there are all kinds of different screens. There's home and view, receive, transmit, uh, favorites, and all that. But if you, uh, you go to the home screen tab right here, and then go all the way to the right, next, the next to the last little icon here, it's called auto mute and I enable that. What that does is when a really, really strong signal is detected, it mutes this thing. And it doesn't just mute the audio, it mutes the, um, the spectrum analyzer and everything. It just shuts it down. And you can control the sensitivity of that by clicking on the option button right here. And um, up comes this. And they've got some default values in there, which are usually pretty good. But you'll see enable, peak, and mean. And uh, I've got uh, enable and mean selected. And I've got minus 35 dB on the uh, right here in the, in the, uh, uh, the mean column and mute for 30 milliseconds. And that's mostly for CW because I want a, a quick mute and I want it to restore quickly also. So I got my restore on 40 milliseconds and I sort of fine tuned that while I was keying the transmitter. Um, but it really, really works good and smooth <clears throat> and doesn't require any wiring. So over here is my transmitter. It's a DX60, and I can operate AM with a mic here, the old JT30. And uh, I kind of fancied this one up. I put the uh, DDS VFO in it, and uh, <clears throat> of course that doesn't really, that's not really relevant to what we're talking about. But uh, coming out of the DX60 is uh, an MFJ of uh, 1708, I believe it is. <clears throat> Now, excuse me, yeah, 1708 uh, transmit receive switch. <clears throat> now, that doesn't require any uh, connection to the DX60 other than the, uh, the antenna port. So, <clears throat> my, my main antenna from outside comes in right here in the middle where it says antenna. And um, let's see if I can point that out right here. There's my antenna connector. Uh, 
This one says transmit, that goes to the DX60, the transmitter. And this says receive, that goes to the SDR receiver, which is sitting right over here. Now, I'm coming out of this receive port on the TR switch and going into a DX engineering uh, front end protector. And uh, I just didn't want to accidentally apply too much signal to the SDR. So I run it through this, it gives me an extra degree of protection. And uh, these things are, it's called a receiver guard. Receiver guard, you can look these up on DX Engineering's website. They're a little pricey, um, and you may not even need it, but there it is. And then we come out of that and go into the receiver port on the SDR. And this is the uh, SDR Play Duo. It's got two antenna inputs on it. And I'm only using one, this one right here. It's tuner number one, it's called. Uh, tuner number two doesn't go anywhere. It's just, uh, it's disconnected here, as you can see. And back here is the uh, USB cable. And what I did was run this to a, a USB 3 cable. It's a, this one's rather short. And that goes to a USB 3 port on the computer. The reason I'm doing that is uh, there's two things. I noticed that there's some some uh, dropouts, very, very tiny little clicks I can hear uh, on some signals uh, telling me that it's not getting enough data. And uh, the other thing is when I crank up the power on the transmitter and hit it with uh, a lot of power, a uh, strong signal, the, the program would just lock up and freeze. And it took me a while and some uh, work with some of the gang on the um, on the uh, SDR console email list to come up with a solution. And so the USB 3 cable was the solution. And they told me that you just need to be sure you get full power out of your computer into this thing. And USB 3 ports uh, tend to have more uh, power available for whatever reason. But that cleared it up and it works really good. So um, when I transmit, I, you know, when I hit the key, which is uh, sitting right here, by the way, I kind of zero in on that. I've got a key or sitting here and a key. When I hit the key, it, it keys the transmitter. It's just going to the key jack here. And uh, the RF comes out of the DX60 and this MFJ1708 senses that RF and trips the TR relay. That switches the antenna from the receiver to the transmitter. And also it is supposed to ground the, uh, the receiver's uh, antenna port to cut, cut down on the signal as much as possible. There is a uh, auxiliary RCA jack here you can use for uh, muting if you want to. It's, uh, it stays closed at all times, uh, normally closed. And you could run that to another relay and a power supply of some sort. And like I said, try to wire it into your speakers. But the software takes care of the muting for me. So anyway, I transmit uh, instantly the uh, receiver Here's that strong signal, and the software responds to it by going into the mute mode. So I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit here. There's some really weak DX in there coming in. <clears throat> but uh, notice when I hit the key, so as you can see, it very cleanly and uh, quietly. Uh, mutes the uh, the receiver and there's no you know sudden pops or clicks or anything it's very smooth and uh, <clears throat> I've got my uh, <clears throat> excuse me my RF I mean my EGC set on fast so that improves the recovery time and uh, it's not full break in but it's close enough and it uh, <clears throat> works really well on the uh, on AM I check into the AM net and uh, 
when I transmit, the receiver just automatically goes into mute. I don't get any feedback or clicks or anything. It just works. So uh, kudos to um, SDR console and Simon Brown that designed this thing. It really wor uh, works well. So uh, anyway, that's about it. I think I've covered everything and uh, good luck with your SDR slash boat anchor setup.